Hey guys, it's Shani Bosky. Today I'm going to show you how I did my makeup for my 30th birthday. I have already put foundation, concealer, and a little bit of powder on my face because this is really where all the fun begins. <laughs> Also, I am not a makeup artist. This is just me doing it for fun. This is what I think looks good on me. So let's get into it. Starting with bronzer. <laughs> and people tend to put it a bit lower, but just to lift my face a little bit more, I like it a tiny bit higher. So just above the cheekbone. I put some around my nose, so I'll just grab the brush and squeeze it. And then just blend it in. I also like putting a bit of bronzer just beneath my lips. After I do my bronzer, I put blush on top. Make sure you dust it off. There's been a couple of times where I've forgotten to do that and it's a little bit too intense. <laughs> Let's just say that. And a tiny bit on my nose. Always try to hurt the pain, you always notice what they say. I'll put all the products I'm using in the description of this video. Next, I'm using a pomade for my eyebrows. I always do this to the brush. Just, I know that wasn't focusing, but I just, all I did was put my fingers between it and stick it together just so it becomes a bit more sharp. So I want my brows to be perfect. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> the way I do my brows also is I start around here on the bottom, work my way around to the end, and then do the same at the top, fill it in, and then work my way towards the beginning of the brow. See that it looks more defined on the end, and when it looks more defined on the end, that's when I would just keep brushing the colour out, following the way the hair grows, and repeat on the other side. Okay! When I have done my brows, I'll use another product which has a brush on it and that's only to hold the hair in place because my brows can be a little bit unruly. <laughs> Again, in the same direction of hair growth and then all you need to do afterwards is just brush it down to keep the shape that you want. Ta-da! After I do my brows, that's when I start getting into my eye shadows. I like using brushes like these. No, it looks like I'm using chopsticks. <laughs> Only because it's very easy to blend the colors with these. Now I feel like sushi. What colors should I do? The way I do my eyeshadow is always starting from light to dark, but light matte. So what I mean by that is I don't use any of the shimmery or glittery colours until after I've already put the base colours on and I'm pleased with the way that that looks. I'm going to start with this cream colour here, it's called Model Energy. The base that I apply is always very light. The only reason for that is because I don't really want the colour to project very much. I just am doing this so it creates a base and it's not so sticky when I want to put the actual colour on. I'm going to start with the colour Cup of Tea and then dip into Your Tiny and Cute and then we'll go from there. When I apply my eyeshadow, I look straight into the mirror and see where my eyelids crease and that's where I put my colour. I also drag the colour upward so it kind of meets the end of the brow. It's going to lift the camera. One second. That's ooh, so much better. Don't know why I didn't do that earlier. <laughs> I always build the colour here just in the crease and then move inwards just so it's lighter around this side and becomes a bit more intense toward the end of the brow. What I also do is put a bit of colour on the top of the lid here and then meet that colour. So it kind of goes in a bit of a zigzag motion. What I mean by that is it goes here in the crease, it comes above where the lashes are, and then just beneath on the bottom of the eye. And the first base colour, I'm going to dip into the second colour, which is Your Tiny and Cute, that muted purple. That one there. I'm going to go over the same spot, but drag it a little bit more inwards and down, just so it touches the part of the eyelid that I haven't put colour on. I go above the same colour, but drag it just a little bit further out. <laughs> I 
That's why I'm usually late or I have to start doing my makeup a lot sooner than expected because I always end up dancing or singing or doing something and then five minutes later realize how long was I doing that for? I don't even know. So <laughs> just did it again. <laughs> the next color of eyeshadow I'm going to use is uh, again darker so I'm slowly building up to the darker colors. The color I'm going to use is Love You Sister which is kind of like a ready brown. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> I don't use a lot of this color. I just want to intensify the color a little bit more. Oh, I just did it again. When I've done that, this is when I grab my angled brush. I have no idea when I changed brushes. It just appeared in my hand. <laughs> this is when I... <laughs> This is when I dip into the darkest color I'm going to use on my eyelid. Use the angled brush to dip into it very slightly. And what I usually do is wherever I'm going to put my liquid liner, I'll use this as a base to kind of guide where the liquid liner is going to go because that can be, um, I'm sure you guys are aware, quite intense or perhaps challenging to do when one side's uneven and you're trying to match it up and then suddenly this side's so thick and you gotta fix it somehow. So, <laughs> that's the reason why I, I do that. Let's begin. The other good thing I find about using an eyeshadow as your base for the eyeliner is simply because if you make a mistake or it's too long or in a different direction you can easily fix it up by just grabbing the same brush that you blend your eyeshadow with and kind of dusting it away and no one will ever know. One of the things that I did when I was doing my birthday makeup put a little flick so it was like that very minimal you can barely tell the difference but I really wanted to achieve that really slick kind of look and I think I achieved it. <laughs> After I've done all the matte colors, that's when I'll dip into any of the shimmer if I want to use that. Today I'm just going to, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. The shimmer color I'm going to use is November 3, which is this golden bronze kind of color. All I do is put it near the inner corners of my eyes. Hmm. Kind of don't even want to put liquid liner on now. I think this looks really subtle and nice. I'm going to line my lips. As you can see, I have really juicy lips. So, <laughs> I actually overline my lips, just a tiny fraction. I do use my existing lip line and just go a little bit higher than that. <laughs> so whether I Fill in the whole lip with my lip liner depends on the color of lipstick I'm going to put on. Today I'm going to put a bold red lip on, so I'm not going to fill it completely with the liner. I used this color from my friend Victoria who bought me this for my birthday. Whoa, that's really bright. But it's so cute. Look at it. This is a stage I reach that before I put my liquid eyeliner on if I do that's when I check that everything is like that line I was talking about with that eyeshadow is the way that I want it to be when I put the eyeliner on top <sighs> no pressure none at all so I have decided not to put the liquid liner on only because I want to go for a more subtle look today but essentially all you would need to do is grab your liquid liner and go over the exact same line that you created using that eyeshadow. So you would come here, go around the top, very thin as well around the top, just to create that consistent line, and then dip it down. Or however you decided to do that liner there. What's next? What do I do next? I don't know. Oh, I almost forgot my mascara. The finishing touch is mascara. I'm gonna do that now. I naturally have quite long lashes, but I recently started using this product and it has made my lashes insanely long and my sister calls me giraffe because of how long it's made my lashes <laughs> so i highly recommend the product i'll also put that in the description of this video 
I start on the end just because I want the end to be more intense. And don't forget to put the mascara on the bottom as well. I always like doing that. That's basically it. That's... I can't really say this is how I did my makeup for my 30th birthday because it's not the same. <laughs> Essentially, this is the way I did do it. It's just different colors. My lip was different. The eyeshadow was different. And I put liquid liner just to make it more defined. Lastly, if you get any eyeshadow down here, this is all I do. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, you just grab a, a, a big brush like this, dab it into your powder, either translucent or your skin colored powder. All you need to do is gently, very gently lift it off your face and that will get rid of it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. I might go take some photos because I look so damn cute. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an amazing day, amazing week, amazing morning, night, whatever it is. See you next time.